Part 2, The Truth Comes Out, Episode 1, Night of the Living Biko. Where do you wish to go? Biko is alive right now! Such a revelation is worth more than the entire netherworld! Everyone, rejoice! We must prepare a banquet. Party! Party! Well, this is a happy ending worth celebrating! La la la, therefore I'll sing a song while jubilating! Hear, hear! Today's banquet is on me! Money is no object. Just send me the bill. I understand your feelings, but settle down. Shouldn't we focus on finding out how Biko is still alive? She's right. What's going on, Prism Zed? Didn't you say Biko's heart wasn't beating? <laughs> Did you seriously think a zombie's heart would be beating in the first place? Why, Zed? Why would you feel the need to deceive your comrades as well? Yes, how could you? You could have at least told me! Sorry. I couldn't let the real culprit figure out what I was up to. They're a tricky one to catch. That's why I wanted to confront them at the Darkest Assembly. Hey! How long are you gonna stay muzzled? You were by our side, scheming and using us the entire time! The one who did this to Biko was... Cerberus! It was you! The... the dogs, the true mastermind behind everything? That can't possibly be true, can it? Hmm. Biko's still alive. You said we could only save her by killing her. She told me everything. You turned her into a god of destruction, didn't you? Why? Why the hell did you do it? Didn't Biko save your life? She trusted you so much, and still you did this to her? Why? Answer me now, Silverus! Hmm. You're going to give me the chance to explain myself? You're too soft-hearted, Zed. Making friends must have turned you back into the nice little zombie you used to be. But there's no way you'll be able to stop my plans like that. You turning tail on us, Cerberus! We're not done talking yet! Oh, I'm not fleeing from you. I simply need to finish the preparations for my plans. What the hell are you talking about? What plans? Even if I told you, you could never understand. Cut the crap, Mutt. I'll just have to force the answers out of you. That group of weaklings didn't stand a chance against Zed and his allies. Cerberus, what the hell are you planning? Answer me! Why'd you do this to me and Biko? Bobby, Serbi must have a reason why. There's no way Serbi would do something so mean to us without one. Indeed, I do have my reasons. But again, there's no way any of you would understand. Especially you, Zed. You and that rotten brain of yours could never manage to comprehend it. Shut up! You'll have all the time to explain it after I beat the crap out of you! 
<laughs> That's right. Let your anger consume you, Zed. Despise me all you want. Show me your true power. My true power? What are you talking about? My plans have been thrown into disarray. But I suppose all existence has been in shambles for some time. What say we enjoy this performance of ours until the very end? <laughs> No way in hell! Get back here, you damn mutt! Follow me, please. Prism Pup was the real culprit? What a shocking twist! Indeed. To think, he served as our strategist. Supporting us from world to world. Perhaps even all of that was somehow related to this plan he mentioned. I'm quite curious about his motives myself. Surely the circumstances must be quite complex. Who gives a damn about his plans or his motives? I'm going to rip him apart with my own two hands. Uh, but... At least Biko's still alive! That's good, right? Indeed, our path to a happy ending is still clear! Uh, um... I'm sorry I couldn't make a proper introduction earlier. My name is Biko. Thank you for being Bubby's buddies. Oh, how polite. You're quite different from your older brother. I'm Majoline. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Hero King Mizador. If you ever need pocket change, I'll happily lend it to you. With crippling interest, of course. I'm Pure Nijino, a.k.a. Prism Red of the Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers. Welcome aboard, Prism Sis. I'm Princess Melodia, your future sister-in-law after our pending wedding. Hey, don't lie to her! Whoa! Bobby's getting married? N no I'm not! This is exactly why I didn't want Biko to meet you guys! <laughs> Bobby told me about all of you. Thank you all for helping me. Oh, she's so well behaved. I can hardly believe they're related. And also, thank you, Bobby. For saving me. No problem. But I'm really sorry I took so long, Biko. It's okay. I could see you the whole time, so I know you were trying your best. I love you, Bubby. Oh, Biko's the cutest! Duh. Anyway, we can't just sit around and shoot the breeze right now. Looks like this place isn't safe either. Oh, how uncouth! These two siblings are enjoying their long-awaited reunion! Biko, you don't have to fight, okay? Just go hide somewhere safe. L but... You've already suffered enough for one lifetime. Bubby's going to protect you from now on, all right? Uh, oh, okay. Goodness, what a mystery that Cerberus is. What is going on in that mind of his? What is that plan he kept droning on about? It won't matter what he's up to after I'm through with him. He made Biko suffer by turning her into a god of destruction, and made me suffer by trying to get me to kill her. I'm never, ever, ever going to forgive him for that! Bubby, what are you going to do after you find Serbi? Hmm, 
Let me think. I'll probably start by beating him up. Maybe tear him to shreds. Make mincemeat out of him. Boil him or skewer him. But, but after that, you and Serbi will make up, right? Make up? Ain't gonna happen. I could kill him 10,000 times and I still wouldn't forgive him. You're different now, Bubby. I can't help it. I went through a lot of crap getting stronger. I'm sorry, Bubby. You fought for me for so long. Oh, uh, no. I didn't mean to say it's your fault. Don't worry, okay? <laughs> You have a real soft spot for Pico, Prince said. Shut up! Leave me alone! It would make me happy if Bubby and Servi could make up. After I changed, I was real sad and real hurt, but... I was really happy when me, Bobby, and Servi were living together. I hope the three of us can all go back home together someday. Where do you wish to go? Damn it! They just keep coming! What the hell's going on? Cerberus is a spellcaster of the highest caliber. For the one who developed super reincarnation, this is child's play. Cerberus, that damn mutt! Ugh. Ugh. Again? At a time like this? Prince Zed, you mustn't overexert yourself. That's right. Your repeated super reincarnations are tearing you apart. If you carry on like this, you'll kill yourself for good. See? I'm perfectly fine. 
I'm detecting incoming enemy reinforcements. They just keep coming. I'm reading over 10,000 of them. What did you just say? To 10,000? With numbers like that, I could possibly bribe all of them at once. Damn it. If things are this bad, then I at least need to get Biko out of. <laughs> What's wrong, Zed? I thought you lived by the words never give up. and the center of the universe. I am the one and only Overlord Ivar! This isn't good. Don't get too close to him, Biko. His stupidity is contagious. Hey, Mr. Overlord! Are you here to help Bubby? Thank you! <laughs> I did not come here for Zed's sake. I am here to help you, Biko. Now, Zed. Only the smallest of the small fries remain. Surely you can manage to handle that much with uh, Nobody asked for your help. <laughs> if you wish, I, Overlord, I am willing to join you and your comrades. <laughs> like hell I'd let you join us. I don't want my sister catching your stupidity. Hard-headed zombie! Now listen here! You may never have another chance to add me, Overlord Ivar, to your ranks. This is a limited-time, unprecedented, once-in-a-lifetime, two-birds-one-stone opportunity. Are you aware of that? My, my! It seems Overlord Ivar is absolutely desperate to join our little group! His heart must have been moved by Zed and Biko's tail. He has obviously become quite a fan. Mr. Overlord, please join us. I want you to help Bubby. B Biko! Oh, Biko! I shall gladly do whatever you ask. Clear a spot on your roster for Overlord Ivar! Is he really an overlord? 